Hey, it's Bryn. And Siobhan. Today we're gonna answer some of your questions to celebrate 3,000 subscribers. So thanks everybody who subscribed. And um, who asked questions. And who asked questions, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise we wouldn't have a video. <laughs> How's university future career plans? It's going good. It's stressful though. <laughs> <laughs> the nice to take the summer off, but I'm ready to go back. I'm halfway through my degree. Going pretty good. Met some cool people. I decided to stop and I've been working since January. That's been going well. Yeah, and future <laughs> career. I want to travel a bit and then I want to have a lavender farm at some point probably, but I don't know yeah. where I want to live like long term yet really, so that'll be like a later 20s job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to school for acting, so that's what my future career path is. I also um, want to try maybe starting an ASMR channel. And how are you guys <laughs> okay. similar slash different in terms of personality and styles? Our sense of humor is the same-ish for the most part, similar. or similar. People think that we look like twins. All summer, I've been getting asked. <laughs> One guy getting... thought I was you, he's like, you're going over here fast, and I was like, we work nah, at, I'm a different person, man. We work at the same place. That's why that happens a lot. We don't think we look the same. No. We do share some interests in like books and shows and music and- We wanna, oh. both want to travel a lot. Yeah, and also like I thought of something. You like Shameless. I hate that show. I really like The Walking Dead like a lot. Siobhan won't try watching it, so. Yeah. I haven't seen the last <laughs> season though, so no spoilers. It took me a while to get into Shameless, but- mm. I watched the whole season of it. And then There's the guy like killed the lady who needed the heart or something, and I'm, like, I'm fucking out. I'm not, I can't do it. I'm more go with the flow. Bryn's a bit more strong-headed. She said she wrote it. I didn't yeah. just say that. It's okay. She's no, it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I'm not like wishy-washy though. I'm actually kind of indecisive. <laughs> That's something I want to change though. It can be too. It depends. Uh, what about oh. style? We have kind of different styles, I'd say. Any upcoming video sneak peeks? Um, no. <laughs> no. Uh, we're we film, too behind. We film like the video and then we edit it in a week. So we, we don't that. have any, yeah, we need to ha build up a cache of them so we can take a break at some point, especially when school starts up again. I'd also love to see more bloopers, y'all are hilarious. That's very kind. If we have so, any funny ones, we'll leave them in at the end. If you could live in any fantasy land slash anime storyline slash anime world, which would it be? And if so, why do you choose it? I think I'd want to live in like the H2O <laughs> world for fantasy Same. land because, you know, like magic and mermaids. And I couldn't think of anything else. And it's very <laughs> chill and it's in Australia, so. Yes. Kind of a win. <laughs> Shadow and Bone would be cool if there wasn't war. Yes. I'd like to be a Grisha. That's pretty sick. Um, That'd be cool. We both read The Cruel Prince, and that would be kind of cool to be in that world, too. I think it's mm. kind of cool, though. Like, I know it's a little, <laughs> little dangerous, but I feel like it would be kind of fun. Maybe not as immortal, though. If you could be on any TV show, even ones that aren't on anymore, what show would you want to be on? If it's fiction, you'd be a character. If it's reality, you'd be a contestant. Love Island. I'm just oh kidding. The UK. <laughs> Only the UK. I just want to go to, for the villa and the Essex accents. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the H2O, like... You really prepped role. for this. Or New Girl, like a funny, funny show. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Any TV show? Well, I guess maybe Shadow and Bone. Or the OC would be kind of fun. <laughs> you get to go to, like, high-end events, live on the beach. And live on the beach. Outfits. <laughs> Oh, the early 2000s outfits, yeah. What do you like to do in your free time? Also, who are your favorite musicians slash songs? I like to draw, play the piano. I've been trying to learn how to skateboard. I don't know if I answered this question. Did we answer this question in our last q and I might have said the exact same things as I just said. <laughs> also baking. I like to do yoga and read. I've been reading awesome. a lot lately. I also like to play the piano and I learned how to play the ukulele this summer. And I like to go ride my bike and I'm giving you a really long list. <laughs> I also <laughs> like to ride bikes. <laughs> go for a walk <laughs> outside, it's nice. And listen to music and watch TV and bake. and. Speaking of music, what's your favorite musicians? I like Frank Ocean, Dominic Fike, Cautious Clay, Kalani. I've also been getting into Lana Del Rey and Marina and the Diamonds. Mm -hmm. I like Vanished by Crystal Castles right now. That's a kind of good one. Almost any Dominic Fike song, probably too. Those are good. Um, I'm trying to look at what my like songs are. One sec, you can answer while well, I look. I like a lot of those ones too that you were saying. I've been listening to classical music. A bit more recently, which I never used to before. I've been listening to Weezer a bit. Oh, yeah. Um, vamps. <laughs> oh, Peach Pit, too. They're mm. Vancouver artists. Mm -hmm. 
Elton John. <laughs> the Mamma Mia soundtrack. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's good. I looked at my life songs, they're like all. Oh, the one, Doses and Mimosas. Oh! <laughs> doses and Mimosas. That sounds really good. Very good. Do you guys have any big plans for this channel? Like maybe more movie reactions or anything like that? Also, what will you watch after Avatar? I'd like to do more Barbie movies, but we'd like to do more like one-offs of different shows movies, movies. Yeah. like the social network that one was really fun to film do you guys come to the u.s often if so what are some cultural shocks you've experienced when coming here we went uh, a lot when before covid <laughs> yeah after covid we haven't really gone since. back no and uh cultural shocks Honestly, not really. I've been told I have an accent a few times, or that, like, oh, oh the nice Canadians. Like, yeah, that's always a bit shocking. I was like, what? That's a stereotype? I didn't know it was. You didn't know that was a stereotype? No. I was in Hawaii by myself, and then I was staying in an Airbnb, <laughs> and I was teaching these people this card game, and it's called Cheat, in our family anyways. Yeah. And then I was explaining, they're like, oh, this is bullshit. Oh, you nice Canadians. I was like, <laughs> what? If you could go on a road trip with any of the characters in the shows you're reacting to, why would it be Uncle Iroh? Well, he'd make you tea, and... And you'd never be thirsty. <laughs> and I feel like he has good ta uh, taste in music. Probably play some road trip games. <laughs> Learn some wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually going to say if I couldn't go with Iroh, it would be Sokka because I need a funny yet capable com companion. Person. Road trip companion is yeah. the thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. What made you two start a reaction channel and do you watch other movie reaction channels? No, those suck. <laughs> no. <laughs> we started wa doing them because we enjoy watching them because we wouldn't want to film something that we didn't enjoy ourselves. One of my favorite YouTubers is Dylan is in trouble. Obviously a lot of you have probably heard of him. Trin also makes great videos and Aaron and Joe are funny. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I guess just nodding and like listening the whole time. Favorite Australian animal? A qua- a quaka? <laughs> what was it? Quaka. Quaka. <laughs> <laughs> or I like koala bears or, or thorny devil. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is a thorny devil? I was looking up. I was like, oh, kangaroo or koala. But I'm like, those are basic. But then I looked it up to like see what other ones were today. Yeah. And then I saw thorny devil. But no, honestly, <laughs> I like devil. kangaroos. <laughs> Either of you ever broken a bone? No. <laughs> I have sprained things. I might have fractured my back, but one doctor okay. said I didn't, and one said I did. So who the heck knows? Riddle me that. <laughs> did it hurt? Yes. I was That's there. All. It looked painful. I was in a swing and the rope snapped. It's like one of those caged swings, too. It's like a wicker. <laughs> so I fell inside the cage with my back. It was great. Uh, Brutal. <laughs> opinion on tattoos. Do you have or plan to get any? I would love to. But for acting, I'm kind of like... Putting it yeah. off. You can be an actor and have tattoos, yeah. yeah. But if I'm starting my career, I wouldn't want. You could get a little dainty one I, somewhere. I would get little, like, fine <laughs> line ones, anyways. Yeah. But I like tattoos, though. They're cool. Mm -hmm. I like them. Like an expression of yourself in art form. Did that make sense? I'm yeah. Really it's like art on your body. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. sick. But yeah, no, I like them a lot on other people. I did really want some for a while, and then now I'm like not so sure. What she -Ra characters do you guys relate to, and what are your MBTI types? By the way, I like your idea of doing a Q&A. Thank you. We like your question. <laughs> I, I really like Bo. I, I feel like I kind of relate to Bo. I, I really like know. Bo. He's probably my favorite, but I think, I mean, we haven't watched enough of the show for me to really confidently say, am I more like Adora or like the Glimmer? Adora. MB T.I. types. I only took the test once, I think, and it was a while ago, but I got E.N.F.J. And I am an I.N.F.J. I've gotten that every time I've taken, like, those type of quizzes, except for once I got, like, I.S.F.J., I think. Nice. So probably I.N.F.J. <laughs> <laughs> How often do your videos get copyright claims? What are the odds? 1 out of 10, 20%, etc.? Usually, if things are gonna come up, they come up pretty soon after I've uploaded it. And then it'll tell me like what part of the video is an issue and then I'll go back and mm -hmm. fix it as best I can, then re-upload it, and then if it's a problem again, it'll give me a different part that's a problem, then I'll go fix it again. So that happens like pretty much every time we upload a video. So one out yeah. of ten? No, more like ninety-five <laughs> percent. What do you want to be when you grow up? I still don't know about myself. That's okay. You can take your time. <laughs> take your sweet time. <laughs> yeah, so acting for me. I change my mind a lot. <laughs> Um, right now I'm thinking I would like to be a lavender farmer, maybe do like go yoga or something there. <laughs> that would be pretty fun. Do you have any pets or other siblings? We don't have any other <laughs> siblings. We have one pet, she's a red border collie. Her name is Ruby. If we have a good photo of her, I'll insert it. If not, <laughs> yeah. We've had her for like 10 years now. She's like almost 11, I think. She's our first and only dog. Oh, she's 11. She's, she's coming up, coming up on 11. Her birthday's August 20th. 
What are your favorite and least favorite things about each other? <laughs> Yours is that I am too sensitive, right? <laughs> no, it's not necessarily that. It's like you don't understand. Like, I, take, I take things personally. I th I'm, unless I'm more blunt, so Bryn will take things personally when they're meant, meant to, to be. be. Yeah. Favorite TikTok audios. Wait, what's your favorite thing? Oh, favorite thing! <laughs> Um, too many to count. You're empathetic and you are very supportive, which I really appreciate. Bryn's like number one supportive person in my life, so. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> you make me laugh. You're caring and you're smart and you're funny and yeah. Okay, Bryn, you're showing me up now. Uh, you're also very artistic okay, and, and, and. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, no, it was just because I was doing this. I like how you stand up for yourself and. Oh. Thanks. And you're very creative and talented. Thank you. And your favorite TikTok audios. This I, one doesn't have any. Yeah. Because she doesn't have it. have it. I don't even know how to answer that. I don't go on TikTok that much. I'm trying to look and see. Wait, I know what yours is. It's the <laughs> one with the guy. He's by the pool. Oh! Who, oh! We're going to answer it. Here. We're going to show it. This one's good. 10 more minutes until 40 milli vanilligrams of this Adderall kick in. Let me tell you something. I'm feeling pretty intelligent right now. Ask me anything in the comments. I bet I can answer that whole lickety split here. Yeah? Which countries would you like to visit? All of them. <laughs> I made a list of places. I want to go, I'll just insert that here. I want to go to Italy really bad. Like, if I could go anywhere right now, I'd want to go to Italy, but I want to travel to most countries that I can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who are your celeb crushes? Devin Bostic. <laughs> Solid. Um, um, and then I also like these people too. I'll just put their pictures really quickly. I like Ben Barnes, Andrew Garfield, Rule. Ooh. Can't think of any more at the moment. What about that guy? Jack. What about Ooh. Jack? Why don't we? Oh no, well, that comment scared me. I used to really like uh, Jack Avery from Why Don't We, and then <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Excellent crush. What are your fave books? One that's, that has a special place in my heart is <laughs> The School for Good and Evil. Those ones are pretty good. I used to like those a lot as a kid, so. And The Cruel Prince and Shadow and Bone. I really like The Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom and the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I meant all of, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm reading The Cruel Prince series right now. I'm on the third book. Also, I've never, I've never read Patrick Dempsey and The Book Thief, but maybe I'll have no, to check it out. No, she's saying that that's, that's her answer. crush. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, I knew, knew the book this was a book. I've never read it though. How have you been mentally? Also, what's your fave movie or show of all time? Princess Bride is a really good one. I also like The Princess Bride and Tangled. <laughs> How have you been mentally? I don't think it is. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> the last few weeks I haven't really been sleeping, so, and it's just like super hot at work, so I've been kind of grumpy. <laughs> okay. I would say I'm like a six out of, uh, seven out of ten. I'm okay. I'm pretty good. I'm doing decent. It's summertime. Like, yeah, I'm a seven. Eight out of ten, <laughs> seven out of ten, but right now it's so hot, bro. Favorite horror movies? <laughs> uh, maybe It. That's the only one I've watched. You liked it? It's the only one I've watched, and it was pretty good. Okay, I had nightmares oh. for a week. I do not watch horror movies. Uh, I had to sleep with the light on <laughs> for like a month. <laughs> I don't really watch horror movies either, but also we're talking about the new, newer It, not I the old one. I slept with fairy lights on for a month. Wow, I did a number okay. on her. <laughs> I know this doesn't count, but I really like The Walking Dead, as I mentioned. And then also The Quiet Place, A Quiet Place was really good. I liked that one too. That's like a thriller oh. though, right? The also a thriller that I like, but it's also a TV show, not a movie, is um, you. Have a few ones for both of you, pessimist or optimist. I've been mostly an optimist my whole life. I feel like, but for the worst, like, and I think I might have also answered this last time. It's gotten me into some <laughs> sketchy situations, so I'm starting to become slightly more No, you're still leveled. optimistic, but you're yeah, not, not so. as naive -ish, maybe? Yeah, I guess. And how's your relationship? Have you always been this close? It's no. good, and no. <laughs> Became closer friends recently. Yeah, within the last three or four years, like we've told each other more things. And the last one, if money wasn't a concern, what you, what would you girls like to do with your life? Uh, money Acting. is a concern, but I'm still doing what I would do if it wasn't. And that be acting. I'm trying to not let it concern me though. I don't know if that's smart or incredibly dumb. I'm just going for it. I want to travel, so I'm gonna travel. I'm trying to not let that be a factor too heavily on what I do. I would like to have a lavender farm at some point. Unless I change my mind again, then that's fine too. Who is the most attractive member of One Direction? Personality and everything wise, 
maybe Harry Styles? I don't know. If it's just looks Lindsay. <laughs> kind of now though, the accent. I like the Irish accent. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week with another video. Bye! Bye. Yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so.